Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's vlog is going to be a bit of a Joey update, how he's going with me bringing him back into work and also today is the day that we have our first lesson back with my trainer Felicity Collins so the first thing I need to do is grab Joey, probably give him a full-on pamper session because this morning I saw him and Casper when they went out they just rolled, they rolled and rolled in the muddiest patch of course as greys do so he's looking pretty filthy right now seriously look at his face it looks like he's had a mud facial i mean that's one way to start your day hey joey you're disgusting here we come good boy up up pick your legs up goodness gracious i promised you i wasn't joking when it came to how dirty this boy is look at that look all oh, it's like in his eye how did you get in there, Joey? And it's mane! Oh goodness, this can take me a while to get him clean. Oh, Joey, oh, it's always when we have a special occasion, like, uh, which bit have I clipped onto so it's equal? There we go. It's always when I have a lesson or a show. It's like you know, isn't it? Yeah. I can't wait to clip you, Joey. I think the time is coming soon because I cannot deal with all this fluff and all the mud sticking to it. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now you're pooing. <laughs> I love animals. <laughs> oh no, now it's, now it's time for the worst part of your face. I'm gonna try my best to be as gentle as I can, Joey, but I need to get this off somehow. Oh my gosh, it's on your ear. I might have to put an ear bonnet on you so we can't see how filthy you are. Yeah. Oh, that went in my face. I just put some lip gloss on before coming out here and now the dirt's sticking to it. My lips feel all crunchy. Oh no. Oh no, your ear, your ear's sticking out, mate. There we go. I feel like I should have done this outside because it's getting a bit dusty in here. Joey is like, he's, we, we've got our heads out in the air so it's not like we're breathing in any of the dust. Just means we're gonna have to wash the wash bay after this. Yes, maybe when I come back from our lesson, I'll give the wash bay a clean out because it's looking a bit filthy at the moment. Oh, would you like to chew on this? There's actually already chew marks on this particular brush from Ruby, who um, thinks it's one of her toys, my boyfriend's dog. Hey, not interested in chewing it either. You just want to smell things. He loves sniffing things. He's like a dog in that sense. Okay, come here. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're starting to get there. I've got a bit warm because I've been using so much energy trying to kind of chisel through all this mud, but I think you can just about see a Joey underneath the sort of mud monster that we had before. To be fair, his mane has grown so long. I haven't really done anything with it since um, before he had his injury, so that might get a little bit of a neaten up. We need to give Joey a bit of a pamper session. We really do. You need a clip, you need your mane sorting out. But anyway, the main focus is just to get him clean right now. That's the main priority. Alrighty, Joey is pretty much as clean as I can get him without giving him a full bath. I've tried to do a few kind of sponge washes here and there, especially on his legs where he tends to get stable stains. Luckily, he's still a little bit darker in those areas. He's clinging onto his dapples. I've also given his mane and his tail a little bit of a trim. Yes, so he's looking a little bit fancy more like a horse that's actually in work. He's getting a bit impatient because he knows now I've finished cleaning him, it's time for him to go in his stable to have a little bit of a chill, to have some haylage while I get everything packed up ready in the van. I think he also knows that we're going out on the horse box, so he's a little bit more on the excited side. Hey? I'm trying not to drop it. I didn't, I was rushing. I didn't have everything in my hands properly. And now I'm just kind of clinging on for dear life. Okay, I think we've done it. We've made it. You know you're an equestrian when you try and carry too many things at once and just about make it. Okay, girth. It's the jelly, that's what I couldn't get my hand round. That's what was flopping away. And saddle. I haven't actually ridden in my jumping saddle since before Joey's injury, so let's hope I remember how to do that. Let's go, let's go to our lesson. Come on in. And up, 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 up. Good boy! We're here! Hey Jojo, do you remember where you are? We've been here quite a few times before. Out we come. Good boy, have a look. Hey. Let's pop you over here. Chest on my 
Versace. Because I know some of you are going to ask, I am going to be wearing a body protector today because this is our first kind of proper outing since Joey's injury. I don't know if he's going to be a bit excited. You never know what could happen. So obviously I want to keep my back nice and safe. Also, this is the new Contour by Charles Owen. And I thought I would talk to you all about it because I would hate for any of you to go to an event or pony club and be turned away and not be able to ride your horse because actually the body protector standards have changed over here in England or they're changing very soon so if you want to find out more information about that I'll leave a link in the description below so you can all check your own body protectors and make sure they're up to the correct safety standards so anyway I'm gonna pop this on I've actually ridden in it quite a few times before as I've been taking or getting Joey back into work and it is so comfy I'm not just saying that um, I feel like sometimes body protectors they feel like they can restrict your movement a little bit but this one I don't know sorry I'm <laughs> I'm still getting used to the zip <laughs> try and get it in there we go this is this is such a good promotion for the body protector <laughs> breathe in as me there we go <laughs> i've got it on now um but yeah it honestly it's so like i wouldn't normally say that about a body protector but this it's pretty comfy i'm gonna put my helmet on now because i think it probably looks really weird me wearing a body protector while not wearing a helmet so i'm gonna pop that on now there we go my helmet's on it looks a little bit better i'm going to put his bridle on now and then i'll see you guys when it's time for our lesson like always at the beginning of our lessons i always spend it warming joey up getting him ready now since he's had his injury and since he's had some time off and we're now bringing him back into work i always like to give him that extra time to warm up stretch out especially as to start with he can sometimes feel a little bit more on the stiff side so the aim in this lesson was to get him moving forward and using himself but also for me to not override which is something that i tend to do especially if i'm on a horse that's maybe not moving as forward as I would like them to. So we did lots of trotting poles with Joey where he was really picking his legs up. We also did some canter with him which again I was really working on getting him to move forward without me moving too much at the same time and um, also making sure that when we did change the rein when we were going around the corners which is often where he can slow up a little bit he was still using himself he was still thinking forward and by the end of the session he started to really get there. We even did some raised trotting poles which to start with again he was a little bit sticky he was a little bit like where do my legs go you know this is actually really hard work for him especially as we're bringing him back into work and he's not as fit as he used to be but oh my goodness i was so proud of him Alrighty, we have now finished our lesson i have a very sweaty joey and a very sweaty esme here it's safe to say he worked really hard there was also i was expecting him to be a little bit more spicy but he was so chilled he was so happy although he still had quite a bit of energy oh thank you going into a few of those um pole work exercises he was going he, he had some speed but anyway because i don't want today's video to be too boring or to be too like basically i was gonna say small too short that's the word i thought i would actually um do like a second part to this video which will be after this where you can see us next week what we're doing how we're improving week by week in joey's sort of rehab process so anyway see you next week <laughs> Hello everybody and I was going to say welcome back to another video but it's actually a new day, it's a week later, we've had a very busy week actually, I think I've pretty much ridden him, oh, thank you Joseph, I think I've pretty much ridden him every single day apart from maybe one day that he had off but we've done a lot of lunging, we've done a lot of hacking, nothing like too high intensity because obviously we're still bringing him back into work but the main focus of the past week that you guys have missed out on has been getting his fitness up, we've done lots of hacking as i said he's been very happy haven't you mate i mean he's been also very filthy covered in mud so anyway i'm gonna quickly get him ready again and then i'll see you guys all at our lesson because this is part two so hopefully you can see a bit of progress i mean it's only a week but hopefully we've progressed at least a little bit with our fitness and how you're going mister oh you are so dirty oh my gosh it's that time of year goodness gracious Alrighty, we are here Let's see how you're going to be today, Joey. Ooh, oh, no. My boots are jumping out at me. Anyway, I thought I would show you the saddle pad of the day because I know you guys always ask what colour it is. This is the Rose Steel, which was a limited edition Black Friday for last Christmas. So there we go. This is quite a pretty one. I haven't really used it much, obviously, because it's kind of new. So that's what we're going for today. I don't, I've worn it on Casper, but I've never worn it on um, Joey. So. Actually, to be fair, with the like dark grey trim, 
looks very nice on you, Jojo. Get nice and comfy for my boy. Alrighty, I'm just gonna get myself ready now. Jelly is ready, and I'm looking forward to our lesson. Actually, it's nice to have like a lesson to look forward to each week. Don't know what we're gonna be doing yet. My prediction is that we're probably gonna be doing some more pole work. But I don't know if we're quite ready to jump yet. Maybe a little cross pole. Maybe that for a, save that for another week. I don't know. We'll see how Joey's going, but he's been feeling really good lately. Like always, we did our warm up and then we went straight into some trotting poles. And oh my goodness, Joey looks and feels like a completely different horse to this week compared to last week. And I was just so proud of him. We went into some raised poles, barely hit any, was really lifting his legs up, really using himself. I feel like such a proud mum just in a week, how far he's come. Like all of our hard flat work and hacking has really paid off even when it came to our canton work he looked a lot less stiff compared to last time he just felt more fluid and then at the end we decided to pop a little cross pole that was our first jump back here is our second one where i probably could have got him moving forward a little bit more but what was really nice to see is he was proper lifting his legs up over the fences and really trying so well done joey i've just finished my lesson with joey and oh my goodness i am blown away with how good this boy is obviously you can see he's rather sweaty so i think next week's job is to give him a bit of a clip hopefully he's not gonna be too fresh and do any handstands or anything like that once he's clipped but oh my gosh he just felt so much better he felt like a different horse compared to last week i feel like all of the hard sort of trotting poles and you know hacking that we've done recently has really paid off like in only just a week as well because he felt so good at the end we did do a jump so um and he was just so chilled he really picked his legs up oh, he has just done poo don't know if you can hear that that was what the splat was um but yes oh i'm just so happy like he was jumping so well he was really picking his legs up over the jumps and he was like like there was no kind of explosions or fireworks or excitement either like i could tell he was just so happy to be back but also he wasn't going wild crazy explosion either so well done joey i'm gonna take him home give him some treats that sort of thing so yeah thank you so much for watching our kind of rehab getting joey back into work journey um i'll keep you updated hopefully next time we're doing a little bit more jumping so look out for that but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye well done joseph sweaty boy should we get you some snackies